Hey everyone, how's it going out there? Das evening, folks. All righty. Yep, and I got a. I forgot. Got? I forgot to mute my the evil twin. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Mama Z, Lisa, Uncle Al, Courtney, Adams, Eden Farm. Uh, Mary Beth, there. All everyone's just rolling right on in here. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, folks. Mama Z, Cecilia, Courtney, go back here. See Michael, fifty-eight. Scrolling back, scrolling back. Keith, Jay made it. Uh, well, just in time preppings here, fishes and Lowe's life. <clears throat> Mouse toes is here. Mousey. Hi, you mouse. And let me scroll Thanks back. Awesome the, the, the J you did. Thank you. And we got ah, Charles, 64th scale fun. And we'll do a shout out to uh, that about that one for uh, little Charles here in a little bit. Get his channel up and going again. Uncle Al. Okay, there we go. I'm caught up. Oh, nope. We just had President Lee and First Lady Teresa step in the house. Dun, dun. Oh, wait, no. This dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Isn't that the motor's on? <laughs> that was the one you started to do. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Remind me, up. I got my kitty a treat. Yeah. One could hey. say you got something on your mind. You're rethinking something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not going to happen. There isn't a person right now that could stand me, let alone put up with me. And I'm man enough to admit it. How many other men are out there willing to admit that they're... Ooh, Mouse Toes got her UV light today. It works. Cool. Golf clap. Yeah. She got her faster than I got mine. That ain't no fair. But that's okay. Yeah, watch out for Mad Cow and the imported beef. Mm -hmm. Watch out for watch out for imported beef rotting on the dock and be, being shipped to the stores. Rotten because they can't get trucks to move it. Anyways, where you at? How's everyone doing today? I was late getting in here to start setting things up because I was out on my coyote tractor moving dirt, cleaning things up, and you're roboing again. Oh, uh, man. What all do I have? Do I have that open? And got that. Fish and loaves. I can show you what she got. This one. She got the same one that I got. And I think we lost him. So, folks. Again, hello, Miss Julie. Gosmania, how's that day, y'all? I'm sure she needs your snack. Yeah, we lost him. So, Home Shopping Network bought Australian beef. Interesting. Ah, that's scary. Here, this way you only got to look at me. There, you can look at my picture. No, it, mine look, mine's got little pits in the lens, uh, bulbs. I'm sure hers is, uh, hers is probably in better shape. Mine looked well used. And they haven't done nothing to make it right.
can't. Well, unfortunately, Gil can't do anything about his distance at the moment. So, seeing as how he's not here, we'll go ahead and start with the topic. Can you guys think of five must-have items that you do not currently have that you need to get? My, Jay, mine's been hit and miss. Mine was short tonight when I went up there. As I got back just a little bit before Will or Gil started getting set up. Hey, Josh. Hey, Glock. So I see a tractor, Agland, an AG3. Mama Z, no, no. You said you wanted a farm. So see, that is included. Jay, I'm in the same boat. Uh oh, I think he's back. I'm back. I okay. just I have to have to change my new list of five must-have items. Number one, just hit number one, a good internet company that gives me good connections that doesn't drop me all the friggin' time. I like Julie's a new state to live in. A new state. Uh, Julie, uh, Idaho, we got some great stuff up here. Michigan. Just when you go to Michigan, go up by Barrington. There's lots of acreage up there and by a big enough place where Charles and I have like a tenth of an acre. Just big enough to set a small mobile home on it and we'll be happy. Yeah. All right. Um, so oh, basically okay. on this start here, okay. put it back oh, up. Oh, I got to share a screen again. I got to share it. It kills everything when it kicks me out. Okay. So I was trying to come up with my just five things. And oh, you're going robo again. Am I still going robo? A little bit. <sighs> yeah, but Michigan is still a Second Amendment sanctuary state. She hasn't wrecked that yet. Yeah. Okay. No cow. Okay. Okay, I'm still here. So, <laughs> all right. Um, basically, I've got five things up here on the screen. You, you know, even though it looks like there's only four. So. Food uh, freeze dryer. If I have that, I really don't need the dehydrator. But what I want is the Bobcat um, T740 uh, with, with the rotivator attachment on it so I can rotor till and put in a huge garden <laughs> and then the freeze dryer to freeze dry everything I plant. Uh Glock and Roll has a very good suggestion, an AED, which is an automated defibrillator. Mm -hmm. Yep, very much so. Rider Dust, good evening. Morris Batch of Heaven. <laughs> and, um, but what's <laughs> interesting is um, on the pictures I got here, let me see if I can make this one. Uh, it's actually, I'm in the slideshow there. Let me pull out of that and make something here. A little bit bigger here and bring that to the front this bad boy here this is one of the attachment to have on the quick change take the bucket off and this little blade goes on it with that i can actually level the two and a half acres on the east side of the house so that it flow the water will flow right and i can irrigate it without having to use sprinklers i can actually put you know uh, do um, ditch irrigation on you know out in the field itself. Sorry to hear that, Al. What happened, to Al? Here, he had to cancel his plans for taking over Canada. Canada, okay. Dang it! <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the other thing about it, so I need the T. I need the the, the seven four the seven forty. Then I can get the the two attachments for it. Now with the rotivator, I could probably get by without the grader for leveling. I just have to; it just take me an extra year with the uh, using the drag box on the uh, 
on the uh, coyote or the, um, the monster drag box, the beast on the Ford uh, 9N. But I um, definitely need a freeze dryer to, so I don't have to worry about canning because I don't have a pressure canner. Julie, I don't know if that's true 100% or not because I, the people I know in Michigan have not said anything about that yet. I know the news is throwing it all over the place, but we all know how the news is. It's about as trustworthy as a baby's diaper. You never know what you're going to get when you open it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could just see you know, <laughs> trying to do that. I could see some nice, well-thoughtful federal agent going in and starting arresting the officers that are citing them for civil rights violations. That would be so cool. And then go arrest that governor for issuing that order. Oh, she got so scared because there was people outside her building that she got a bunch of black people with rifles to escort her out of the building. Now trying to play the hidden race card on it. Mm -hmm. Typical Democrat. Yeah. Uh, what what was uh, okay? Um, Nevada. Mm, all right. Um, well, don't use the V word or the C word. Oh. All right. Or it will cause him to take a hit on his channel. Yep, they're taking they're hitting for using the V word or the C word. So if you're going to put something up like that, please put retract use Red it. Dragon. Yeah, so if you drop, if you retract that back that way, because I just, I'm in mean, a hair being monetized. I don't want to lose a bunch of stuff here. So please retract that statement. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Um, ooh. Presto dehydrator, but love to have the Excalibur. Yeah. Thank you, Will. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn away from the list. <laughs> All right. So, what I want to know is All right. So, my top my my top items food dehydrator. The reason why that's number 1 on my list is everything I can grow, I can grow, we can dehydrate and if we get a um, a steer from Brandon across the street. If you, you know, if we decide to buy one, I can dehydrate. I want to dehydrate. I can freeze dry all the meat. And I can do cook stuff up in it and freeze dry meals like, you know. You can copy mouse toes without yeah. having to heat up the whole kitchen. Mm -hmm. Or pencil or uh, Pennsylvania pepper. She's freeze drying a lot of stuff like stews and stuff. So, so that's uh, that's my number one item. And then, of course, you know, the, the Bobcat with the uh, Rotovator is number two. Uh, Bob, Ro Bobcat's number two. Rotovator is number three. <clears throat> uh, what I got going on here? So while you look at that, my number one item, if... <laughs> If we ever do get another stimulus thingy, mm -hmm. and it's how I can't claim it until next year, and I claim Charles as my dependent, which he has been since the day he's been born, has never been with nobody else. Um, that I'm in the world hasn't completely collapsed by then. I'm going to pick up a freeze dryer, and then every one of these canned goods that I've got sitting in the house, I don't care what's in the can, it's getting freeze dried, put in mylar bags. All right, uh, so Mouse Toast says carrots are good to do first. Yes, a freeze dryer does need electricity. Uh, so it's up there, and so. Well, uh, the average, it depends on what you're freeze drying. Um, if you freeze it first, before you put it in the freeze dryer, it actually cuts down on the amount of time take to freeze dry them. Yeah. But, you know, well, um, that much beef, basically what we'd probably be doing is um, 
cook, you know, is cook, you know, cooking, you know, first of all, what we do is a lot of stuff we have in, in the three uh, freezers we have would all get dehydrated, it would all get freeze uh, dried first. That way, at least we have room place to put the beef. And then we could work on making beef stew, beef pot pies, um, taking you know, the hand, taking the, the ground beef and doing um, uh, like hamburger helpers and freeze drying that, you know, spaghetti, uh, chili mac, stuff like that. Ooh, homemade chili mac with good yeah. lean beef. Now, see, I could dig into some of that. Some of these other companies that put that out. Leaves a lot to be desired because that macaroni turns out really bad. Yeah. They say, add two cups of water and let's sit. You add two cups of water, you let sit. Come back five hours later and it's still soup. Mm. It's like, okay, my dog won't eat that. Yeah. Anyway, That's what, dog. Yeah. I, I must say, though, that the uh, the Mountain House Chili Mac has worked good for us on, on, on scout trips for the last, since I was in, a scout, uh, in the scouts. So, if you follow the directions properly, you shouldn't have any problems with rant being having anything turn out rancid. But that yeah. comes with experience and following directions implicitly. Yeah, it's just yeah. like if you're going to can, you open up the ball book, you follow it. Same with for, uh, dehydrating. Um. Ooh, what was really cool? It was which is really neat and tasty is the uh, freeze-dried uh, banana chips, um, apricot slices, Those are okay. and uh, apple, mm -hmm. ap apple chips. So I was going to say apple, um, apricot, banana, um, pears, pears. Oh, pineapple, yes. Pineapple. pineapple. Freeze-dried pineapple is a candy. Yes, it's no, it's no longer health food, it is a candy. <laughs> Once you start, you can't stop. And I'm not talking chips either. Mm -hmm. That is true, Al. That's why I say you follow directions implicitly. Yeah, that's why if you're going to dehydrate and make your own beef jerky, you need the leanest meat possible. Yeah, and you cut off any and all excess fat unless you plan on eating it quickly, which jerky don't last in this house very long anyway. So Hmm. I'm not sure about doing it twice. The one, um, so mouse does, does, uh, freeze drying. No, she does no, regular canning. Regular can. Okay. Um, I, uh, Pen uh, Pennsylvania prepper does a lot of, um, freeze drying. There you go. Mouse answered it. When you think it's dry, leave it on overnight. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to want to fruit leathers. Well, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, wrong one. Come on. Add a vacuum sealer to your... The chat is running so fast, I go to click on it, and it shifts, and I click. Yeah, well, it freeze dried or dehydrated. Anything you can, and anything can be messed up. I mean, it does, it's really easy yeah. to mess things up. Not reading the destructions is a good way to mess things up. Or listening to people who say they know it and really don't. That's why I say I don't know crap about canning. If you want to know canning, uh, down over there for me, it's over there. There's a person named Mouse Toes. Yeah, she does canning for dummies. As a dummy, I watch her canning videos. Okay, I called myself a dummy. I didn't call you guys dummies. I said me. Listen right here. Now go watch her videos. Hey, Jay, it's not speed reading. It's speed clicking. I go to click and it, it jumps. <laughs> Another person to go check out too, if you want to see stuff on freeze drying, would be um, uh, Rural Readiness. Yeah. And I don't have her link handy. Uh, yeah. But Miss Nina does some pretty good stuff with freeze drying. And she actually shows how long it took her to do it and what it looked like when it went in and what it looks like when it comes out. So if you want to go check something out, go check out Nina on rural readiness. 
world readiness. Okay? Rural. 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 As in country, rural readiness. Let me pop this up here. Drop that down for a second. Oh, I still had that open. Okay. Yes, Mama, you do. But I haven't watched all your videos yet. I have watched almost all of Mouse's. Yeah. And even that being said, I still don't know about canning because I don't have a canner here to do it. I'm the kind of, there it is, Mouse typed it into chat so you can see how it's spelled. Rural ready. I'm just trying to make sure it's, there we go. It's finally coming up. Let's see, Uncle Al do, does it the old fashioned way. You find a branch, you stick the branch out in the sun, you hang your meat off the branch. <laughs> uh, he's saying salting. <laughs> hey, throw salt on it too. That does work. Okay, so there's there rural readiness. <laughs> and Miss Nina does freeze drying as well. And she also just picked up the camera system I got. Uh, 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 yeah, um, heavens. Uh, so we've got here. Uh, smoke meat, salt meat. Yeah. Okay, there so. Yeah, so it looks like she's got. Uh, let's see what her playlist shows. Um, Arkansas property canning for food pantry, live streams, camper, well, roads. Okay. I'm sure it'll probably be under the canning one. I'm not. Yeah. Positive. All right. And, uh, the other one. Yeah. Ice house would be a good idea. Will, if you have the property and go, can go deep enough with it. Because most areas most people live in are flat. So you need to go deep enough and brace it so it doesn't co collapse in on top of you. And then there's Miss Pennsylvania Prepper. Yeah. And she's, she's had, she's been, you know, tons of stuff going on. Um, let's see what her playlist here. Sales, hard, uh, things to consider. Uh, why prep freeze dried foods? 58 videos on freeze dried foods, food preps and storage solutions. 83 videos on that, you know, non food preps. 79 videos, and then she's got a couple on food foraging, uh, medical preps. 19 videos. Yeah, she's got a, a bit of uh, stuff there too, but I mean, she, you know, she on the freeze dried foods. She was uh, she was even uh, freeze drying the pet food. Yep. And oh, just for those who are remember my computer stream a couple weeks ago or a week or two ago, whatever it was, um, she took my advice, picked up a fan off of eBay, took it to com she called a computer guy. He said it was going to cost her eighty bucks, which I'm sure the guy was just going to buy an extra fan so he could have it on the shelf himself. And she got a hold of a different guy and he did it for 25 bucks and she gave him an extra 15 on top of it she and followed it and is she, her computer is working happily now yay so see maybe this dummy right here ain't so dummy and on that note i'm gonna go make me a cup of coffee before i fall asleep <laughs> yeah all right let's uh pull back up here Okay, uh, my husband bought me a whole flat of spicy and hot oregano. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah, I, I gotta get I gotta get a uh, a video do a video of what my daughter's doing downstairs, uh, garden wise. Um, the grandkids love the animal crackers, and so we got five or six of these empty. Well, my daughter's cutting them in half and turning them into little indoor planters. 
And I know she's got basil, some onion seeds I gave her, uh, like, I forget what type. Um, and she's got uh, oh, some peppermint, some other stuff she's grow she's doing uh, in that downstairs in the kitchen. She built a big rack thing from some stuff I brought up from California from little, um, I guess they're about 16 inch square cubbies. And uh, they all snap together, the wire rack thing, and she's doing that. So, yeah, she's doing a whole bunch there, and she's got a bunch of stuff going on outside. And I just doubled this, the size of what I got going in the in the greenhouse, uh, in the bunker greenhouse in the basement. Uh Um, some butchers won't, ha will not have a problem in doing that for you, depending on how much you want done. Um, there are also some of them, some butchers in some parts of the country make jerky. They'll take it. Oh, you want so much of yours done? Okay. We'll, they'll charge you this much and we'll make, you know, you know, 20 pounds of jerky or, you know, 30 pounds out of the, you know, however, you know. 250 pounds or so of, or 400 pounds from the uh, steer. So, um, I would but you got to a butcher to slice it thin. No, not unless you want to pay a fortune. Yeah. Uh, take it home, start freezing it till it's firm, not frozen, but firm and slice it yourself. Yeah. That's so what, uh, yeah. Uh, something you destroyed my completely. You won't cut it. You'll cut your fingers first. Yeah, but it's firm, not completely frozen. Yeah, and you want it where it's just starting to crystallize inside of it, so it holds firm and not going as you're trying to cut it. And then you let it marinate. I let mine marinate no less than 24 hours, but depending on the type of marinade you use, you can get away with less. But I recommend at least 24. Yeah, like I said, some some butchers will do the jerky and everything for you. They're set up for you. Yes, Jay. I have very sharp knives. Very yeah. sharp knives. Yeah, you got it. He has a very sharp butter knife there next to him. No, not that one. That's the short one. Yeah, this is one I use for peeling tomatoes. Yeah. And yet this one's sharp enough to peel a tomato. Yeah. Okay, uh, Julie's asking against the grain or with it? You go against the grain when you're making jerky. If you go with the grain, your jerky will be very, very hard to chew. Shush. Titans being a pill. Oh, she's got a wet face. <laughs> Shh. Uh, yeah. Now that's a, that's something to, interesting to check out. After you marinate the, the the jerky for however long, before you not instead of dehydrating it, put you, if you have a freeze dryer. Put it in the freeze dryer. It, it'll just turn into freeze dried meat. It will not be jerky. No. There's a different texture involved. It'll turn into a very, very hard, crunchy item. Mm. As in break your teeth type item. If you're not if you have it sliced over an eighth of an inch thick. When you're making a good jerky for home use. You want to get it between an eighth and three sixteenths thick when you're slicing it. That'll give you the best jerky you can get. Anything thicker than that, uh, you're going to have a really hard time dehydrating it. Any thinner than that, and you turn into what's essentially bacon bits out of beef. Uh. Yeah, that's my problem. Well, mine lasted four days. That is, this is a problem that has to be addressed, you know, and unless you, if you start out from the very beginning and address it at the very beginning, you know. Don't name it. Once you've named it, it's no longer food. It became a friend. Never name your food. My, when we had two steers back when, um, uh, just after I got out of, after I graduated from high school, my brother was still a senior at the time. 
Uh, we got two had uh, we bred our milk cows. They dropped two st- two black Angus steers, or they bred with a black Angus, so they and it came out looking black. So, um, the um, my mom named it named the one Fog because it was really foggy when it was born, and named the other one um, Mud because it was it was it was really muddy where it would got get given birth. My brother and I re- named them immediately differently. The one was Skillet. That was the first one, not Fog. We named it Skillet because that's where it was going to. And the other one we named Cesspool because it wasn't mud. It was a cesspool area from the cows where it was born at. <laughs> there was no love to those two <laughs> beef on hoof. Yeah, I, I would have called the other one Spit. How many people guess can figure out what I mean by spit? And I don't mean the stuff that comes out your mouth. Yeah, on a spit. Mm-hmm. A big spit. A big, huge rotisserie spit inside a great, big, huge metal drum that's been made <laughs> out of an oil drum. You close it just like you do a pig. I've done that a couple of times. The pig yeah. that is. Yeah, it's the uh, some you know some people have a problem uh, disassociating it from you know. Hey, cool. It's a pet. No, it's not. It's food on the hoof. Pork chop and bacon. Yep, works for me too. <laughs> yeah, I, I I follow what my friend up in Michigan does. He he is a pig farmer. That's what he does, and he works at the casino as a side job. He raises his hogs, and when he goes to butcher them, the entire hog, edible meat, of course, gets put into sausage rolls. He doesn't separate any of it. So you got your pork chop, your bacon, your you know all the prime meats are actually turned into sausage rolls. You want to talk about something that's awesome? It's the best art sausage you'll ever eat. You'll eat it as a hamburger. Uh, throw that back up there. So. What else? What all right? What fun? You know, everyone, think about this. We've talked about you know food dehydrators, and if that's one of your items, fine, that's great. Uh, a freeze dryer, uh, pressure cooker, a pressure can, or whatever. What are the five items that you really feel you need to get? Solar. For me, it's solar. I thought yours was just a house out, out of Ohio. That, that, that's not going to happen, so I need to get solar next somehow. Hamlet, pork chop, Earl of Bacon. <laughs> Those are good names, Jay. Uh, named hamburger and barbecue. Yeah, those are good names too. To uh, keep it a uh, so people don't get are always remembered, reminded where it's going to go. Um, oh, all right. There is a cha- channel, um, Good Simple Living. It used to be Good Simple Living Homestead, but they felt that was too much of a mouthful, so they just cut it back to Good Simple Living. They've sold their property in Oregon was it Washington and they're now in Northern Idaho up in Bonner County. Um, while they were in Washington or Oregon, whichever state they were in, she was raising and butchering rabbits left and right. And okay. she talked about the same thing. Ice corn fused. What's well, a chicken tractor? Chicken tractor. Uh-huh. Chick, chicken tractor. All right. Basically, um, basically, you consider uh, you build a uh, chicken shed about two feet tall at about mm-hmm. eight foot square, and you drag it and you move it around the yard so the chickens can scratch and stuff as they go. They usually, um, people that have those usually raise um, meat birds for that in it, not layers. Ah, okay. Uh, you want to see, see you, you want to see a really good one. Um, Stony Ridge Farmer built a real cool one out of PVC pipe, and it slides really nice on on it. I missed that one. 
Yeah, and that, he he did that one back in September, or no, I think was, that was back in July. He built that one. <laughs> and I was trying to who is oh um Daniel is at um Arms Family built one that fits inside his raised planter beds in his in his uh, high tunnel, and so he just moves it down, and the chickens are just tearing it all up. Uh, and scratching it and, you know, debugging it and everything else. And then he plants right behind. See, you learn something new every day, folks. At least I did. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Well, well, what's going on here? You need someone to send me a course on brainwashing. Huh? Hubby not sold on us moving to Agland or me having illegals in a yard. yard. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> poultry. Now. There you go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, get your old man on the phone with me for about 30 minutes. He'll change his tune. Not sure which way he'll change it, but he'll change his tune. Now, my daughter wanted to turn the we had have um we bought the property. It came with it with a ten foot by ten foot uh, square dog kennel with you know four panels and stuff. She was wanting to turn that into a chicken tractor, and the only way really to do that is going to be to re because basically it's got some uh, um, double C clamp type things to clamp around the pipe on the edges, and it still likes to wiggle back and forth, even no matter how tight you get it. Is to um, really just to make it solid and then put some wheels on it so it has about that much clearance off the ground and that way you, know, you can just you know roll roll it along i see i've missed a lot lately trying to come up with stuff for two channels now not just one my wife has a plan to have what's called a chicken garden here. It doesn't have a lot of chickens in it, just a couple in it that go in there. That, and, you know, you don't want to have too many chickens so they start going after the vegetation. You want them just enough so they're scratching around going after the bugs and enough chickens to keep the bug population down, but not where they go get too hungry and go after the vegetation. So she wants to put in one of those here. Yeah, that would be something to consider too as predators. Making sure it can keep the predators out of your enclosures. That's something Nina had a problem with down at her place. Yeah. Um, so somebody else who is no longer putting up YouTube videos, unfortunately, because yeah. uh, she had a lot of good stuff. 3D Prepper. She used to put out a lot of stuff and then she started getting stock, so she pulled it all down. Yeah, the um, I uh, the only predator problem we have around here yeah, is on is on the wing, and the um, the first the first year, first time my daughter was using that enclosure, didn't ha they didn't have a top on it, and uh, hawk came in and took away a chicken, and so they put a uh, chicken wire on top, and the hawk came in. <laughs> And the chicken wire on the roof, and I don't think it's been back since. There's Mimsy stopping in for just a brief moment or three. Hey, Mimsy. The um, now some of the tra chicken tractors I've seen actually have um. They put roosting bars in there so the chickens can roost up in it. But um, if you, you have I seen that or not? I I thought I saw. I'm not sure. My mind may be playing tricks on me. You know how it is when you've been working out in the sun too long in the day. Oh, the age will get you. That too. But I can I can see very easily building a uh, a small, you know, a set of um. Uh, nesting boxes up there so the chickens can uh, lay eggs. You know, you just open up the back of it and pull them out and you just move it along. 
I just had a property for urban people. Okay. Everybody in the urban areas build themselves a chicken tractor. And then all the youth, all the rugrat children who get out of hand, out of control, <laughs> them, drag it around. That way you can get free tilled up grass and you can plant in the yard. The kids will do it all the work for you. For a second, I thought you were going to say you're going to stuff that stuff all those misbehaving kids in the chicken tractor. That's what I said. No, not not pulling it around. Just stuff them in there and leave me. <laughs> no, stuff them in there and tell them to push it around from the inside. So as they're trying to dig with their feet, it digs it all up. Ah, uh, okay. What the chickens do? You get yeah. 15, 20 rambunctious children in there. They have it all done in a day's time. Yep. Or wait, that's kind of child labor in it. Can't do that. Darn it. I thought I had an idea. Yeah. Uh, I ain't much louder. I'll blow my own eardrums out. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta otherwise get I something back over my microphone again to cut to you know quiet it down. Unfortunately, the controls don't want to quiet it down any. Yeah, that's my problem. Going with a microphone, you have to use almost have to use headphones in order to be able to hear the other people. Otherwise, you get feedback, and I can't stand feedback. Feedback to me is like somebody dragging their fingernails down a chalkboard. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> All right, wrestling tradition. Hope that that's good. Better idea. Better idea. Put a chalkboard in there and tell them for every answer they get wrong, they have to take five steps. And just put a bunch of algebra, algebra, algebraic equations on the chalkboard. They'll never get it done. They'll just keep right on going. Um, white family. Yes. Happy Courtney. morning. Um, not, oh, it jumped on me again. Okay. White ponds is cool. Um, fish is uh, now question everybody out there how fast will rabbits dig? Quick, quick. Okay, you've heard how rabbits are very prolific, yeah, they're excellent diggers just as well. Okay. When well, we had rabbits when I was a kid, we built the pens three or two and a half feet off the ground, yeah, and so could get the chicken or the rabbit poo out of the way, yeah. But we did not put them on the ground. They would dig their way out overnight. Overnight. Okay. Go to bed and you come back and they're gone. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's what I was wondering if they, you know, you know, if they, you know, if you, if you moved that, the, the, the had like a rabbit tractor, you moved it every day, whether or not they would bother digging out or not. Yep. The minute you go to bed, they're going to go, ha, and they're going to act like Pinky in the Brain. Going to take over the world. Uh, trying to keep up here. Yeah, you know, wire underneath. Yeah, they dig fast when they're scared. <laughs> well, just because I have the butcher knife hanging by the pins doesn't mean I'm going to slaughter them tonight. <laughs> yeah, when we we had a couple rabbits. Um, they dug, you know, the neck in California next door to us was a day case, daycare center, and they poured concrete all along uh, next to the fence between the, the 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 main house center and the fence, and put a big patio in and stuff. The rabbits had dug a big, huge. We don't don't know how big it was underneath their um, cement pad because yes. it was nice and cool. Rabbits are not only prolific, they grow quickly. So yes, in a year's time, you could have more rabbits than you know what to do with, as well as a full freezer. Because after Snowball and Pepper um, mated, we in a year's time, we went from needing one pen to having pens on three sides of the house. And we wound up selling a bunch. And these were Texas Kings. I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not talking little itty-bitty raggets. You're talking big raggets. The kind that when you pick them up, if they didn't like you, they left claw marks 
the entire length of my arm. Uh, uh, two. Okay, what we got here? Yeah, well, the dog's fat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, some, especially if you go get, if you're talking about breeding them, you get some Angoras. Uh, yeah, they, they fetch a really pretty penny. Yeah. Those are not meat rabbits, those are yeah. short rabbits. My recommendation if you want meat rabbits, stay smaller than Texas Kings. All right, um, let me check it here. Well, Mama Z, everything's out of stock. I actually went looking to find some stuff for Charles's channel, and everywhere from here to the UK to including China, the parts that I wanted to get for his channel can't find nowhere. And we're talking little teeny die cast miniatures. 164 scale. Everybody's out. So it's not just the store that's getting hit. It's every aspect of your supply chain. Gee, didn't we bring that up once before? Yeah. All right. Um, so good, simple living. And she's the one that does the rabbits and butchers them, not him. Uh, playlists. Preparedness, 20 in there, or we got uh, debt-free, gardening, rabbits, new rabbit meow. Yeah, so she has 25 videos just on rabbit breeding, set up birth, and then uh, raising rabbits versus chickens, 11 videos on that. And raising yeah. rabbit meat, hey, step-by-step -step raising rabbit meat, 41 videos. Hey, heavens, 90% of what we have in this country is not made here. Only about 10% of what we use on a daily basis is actually manufactured or produced here in America. Yeah. And she talks about the different the, the, the different breeds and, you know, how to keep them. And, yeah. And she explains everything very well when, she, you know, when she's doing it. Fishes and loaves, correct. Rabbit manure is a good source of manure. Yeah, I got a very rich. I got a, tra a trailer load from a neighbor here, and thing is, what's neat about rabbit manure, you can put it right on the on the ground around the plants immediately, and it's not going to burn them. Just don't do that with chicken poo <laughs> or chicken steer, poo. steer manure. Yeah, chicken poo, you have no plants. Yeah. Yeah, we, when we used to clean out the chicken house, we'd dump it on an area we wanted to kill the weeds, and it would burn everything there. Uh -huh. Best you can. Now, rabbit manure is not hot. It's it's a very cool. You can put it. It's 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 a very cold manure. You can put it right up next on. You know, put it on your fresh. Uh, uh, seedlings out there, you put it right on around it. It's not going to burn them. Chicken manure, cow manure, steer manure, um, your manure, goat, goat, goat manure. Goat manure is uh, not quite as hot as the others, but um, yes. chicken is by far the worst. Yes, it will literally burn your plants overnight. Yeah. Yes, you do, Heavens. That is true. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't eat. I mean, they get pass, a lot of it passes through undigested. <laughs> well, I'm not dealing with any bats. Thanks anyway. We've had we got enough issues with bats now. Let's not bring up guano. Although it does have very, very, very many uses, and if you can harvest it in a productive and large scale manner, you can become really rich really quick. But 
The problem is the bat guano, um, and when harvesting it at first, it, when it's a little dusty, causes problems. Yeah. You think you got to wear a mask now? No, you need full respirator system. Yeah. Because you're in a cave surrounded by that dust. You will wind up very ill. Titan, stop. Um, all right. Uh, several of the channels in here. I'm not sure if uh, was it, who was talking about it. Several of them were talking about calling it uh, manure tea. Sim, you know, to, you know, to, you know, basically, you make it and you do manure, you know, manure tea to um, uh, you know, fertilize wet with. And Jay, I am not sure if that's how Bruce's family made their fortune, but they sure could have. Uh. Not sure about that. You know, it may be that certain one, anything that drops pellets like rabbits, goats, alpacas, maybe it may be a cool um, manure. Pop, Anthony, no hey, how's it going? All right, Anthony, here's the pop question for you. Name five items you don't currently have that you would like to have ASAP or sooner. Yeah. Hey, Meg. Yeah. Compost tea, manure tea, yeah, all that stuff. You know what? I should actually contact, because there's an alpaca farm literally just a few miles down the road from me. I should ask them. Manures. Uh, hey, bottom dollar. Let's see you sneak in there. <laughs> okay, cold manure such as uh, llama, alpacas can be added directly to uh, to newly planted soil. In contrast, hot manures will burn roots, seeds, and okay, is sheep manure hot or cold? Uh, sheep manure uh, Well, it would be awesome. It would it's considered if it's considered a sheep is considered a uh, cold manure. But there, but no. this this one's also considering saying cow manure is a cold manure and it's not. No, it's not. Mouse, um, I would would say considering it's pretty much the same family, um, genus species to a degree of four legged food. Um, I do believe that deer poop would also be cold. Fifty cal suppressor, diesel generator, and the eighteen band. I like world number five. Peace. World peace. Well, if you if you get number five, you don't need the rest. <laughs> That's why it's number five. The first five are just in case five fails. <laughs> and I can agree with the first two most definitely. Yeah. Now, do you want the Serbo single shot or do you want the Serbo semi-automatic? Serbo. <laughs> I prefer the semi. Send five rounds down range, change mag, and go again. Cold, 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 cold. Uh, deer poop is uh, cold. Everyone's saying it's cold. Uh, yeah, so I, I have a feeling that anything like, you know, goat, deer, llama, alpaca, rabbit, <laughs> anything that's a, uh, a pellet poop is going to be a cold manure. Uh, fly manure, nah, you don't want that many flies around. Well, no, never mind, I'll shut up. Yeah, I actually have 38 degrees outside right now. Yeah. And it's windy. How do I know? Because I walked to Walmart tonight. Yeah. It was interesting. 
Over 500 people in the store. There wasn't a place to park in the parking lot. About 10% had masks. Nobody was doing any social distancing except Charles. He kept saying, Dad, watch it. Six feet, Dad. Dad, watch it. Six feet, Dad. Yeah. And it took 15 minutes to check out when they said, Ladies and gentlemen, our store is closing at 8.30 tonight. And you need to get the out. And it took 15 minutes to get through the checkout lines because they only had three, count them, three human checkouts and four of the 20 self-serve checkouts open. Okay. Um, Epsom salts, and I've seen, seen several things where it talks about it being, uh, you know, good for just as a fertilizer. Um, let me get the scoop here on it for you right now. Hold on. What do I have here? Ta-da! Yeah, I know he said. I know he says it. You know, but let me, let me see if I can find it in here. I haven't had a chance to go through the book yet, so I don't know. I think sixty. Oh, Epsom salt is made up of magnesium and sulfate. Okay, as a specific fertilizer, if your soil is deficient in magnesium or sulfur, it will add these nutrients to the soil. As far as garden soil goes, neither of these nutrients is usually deficient. Usually. Holy shamoli. A lot of stuff in there on it? No, I'm just looking at all the stuff that right. there land doesn't have in it yeah uh people commonly use epsom salts to feed plants that crave magnesium including tomatoes peppers rose bushes they claim that epsom salts mixed with water and poured around the base of plants or sprayed directly in the faulty foliage results in more and bigger flowers and fruit okay Okay, this doesn't, but I'm not, you're going to be able to see it very well, but come on. Um, this is all the stuff that's not in your soils. Uh, yeah. All the stuff that's missing from your soils. It takes a full page in his book. Okay. Here's, here's a note uh, on something else. Um, uh, one of the questions was, what does Epsom salt and baking soda do for plants? Um, uh, okay, well, baking soda helps prevent uh, mildew and other fungus from growing. Epsom salt is loaded with magnesium sulfate, which helps your plants grow nice and strong. Give your plants a good soak with this solution in lieu of watering once a month. Um, uh, fish. Go check Green Wizard's uh, playlist in his YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, I do believe he said he's actually got one where he talks about Epsom salt on one of the videos. I don't know which one it is. I haven't had a chance to go through them all. Yeah. <clears throat> or on the, uh, on, he has some, you know, um, audio blogs on his um, website as well. And some of them are, are, are listed, are matched to the book, like chapter 51 or page, or page 51, like that. I'm not sure on the mulberry bush thing. Uh, that would be something you probably want to look it up. Uh, Uncle Al saying a, a tablespoon and a gallon of water. And yes, an old farmer's, or at least my mom knew about it because her mom taught her was the aspirin on tomato plants. Yes, you can put Epsom salt in compost. Yes, there's nothing worse than a tomato that gets a stress headache. All right. Now, Epsom salt has no salt in it. Uh, 
Okay, so it's you know, there's you know, the Epsom salt really does is is a misnomer. It's not really salt. Yeah, Anthony says one uh, tablespoon uh, per gallon uh, once they start fruiting. So there's something I just learned from my tomatoes. <laughs> fruiting? Are they going crazy? Not yet. They're still small. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a news report coming out of Idaho. Yes, it is true. Out of the Camp Patton family compound, there is 8,000 killer tomatoes running wild. Please head for the hills. Tomatoes can't stand cold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Ryder Dust was asking, what were you reading from? Okay. Show it again. The book. Mama Z. Um has a giveaway tomorrow morning, folks. 10.30 Eastern, 9.30 Central. But you got to go watch a video that she put out today and put your name on that video so she can see you. Or you ain't going to win nothing. So get busy. Just saying. All right. All right, uh, Dave, you want to hold up the Green Wizard's Guide? All right, this is what Dave was reading from, the Green Wizard's Guide. It's available on Amazon and other places. I actually got the, uh, the, uh, the Kindle version. I look at enough computer screens. I needed something that wasn't going to hurt my eyes when I was trying to dictate it or narrate it. Won't plant till after Memorial Day. Yeah, our weather here stinks right now. We yeah. got frost advisories for the next three nights here. All right. Um, no, I don't have any of the old Fox uh, uh, Fire Fox Fire manuals. But I do have a. Um, Three book set of called the Little Black Book Set from the CIA, the Anarchist Cookbook, the five black five black volume from the NSA, which is in the middle of photocopying copies of it and sending them to me. So I've got a set. <laughs> um, I was kidding. All right, very good point here, guys. From Anthony, you want to be careful of high ni high nitrogen uh, fertilizer. Your fruiting vegetables will, be, will leaf out with no fruit. Nightmare, Beth. Okay, uh, fishes and loaves is that digital copy? Is that the uh, Green Wizard's Guide you're talking about? Yes, Martha has uh, a, a good set of the uh, the books and PDFs. Thank you, Mims. Yeah. In fact, let me see if I got this here. Pop this open. 
Was it that kind of pop or was it a different pop? Different kind of pop. Oh, okay. Okay, so I got the Green Wizard's Guide. And if I go over, I got from Doc Bone and Nurse Amy, the uh, ultimate survival medicine. Got to turn it so the glare is down. Yeah, he's got volume two. I've got volume three. Yeah. I also have the uh, Prepper's Long-Term Survival Guide. Don't have that one. And... Gardeness Guardian. Gar gar gardening. Hey, Gil. Yeah. Look at your chat. From Will. From Will. Medical bags. Present and future. I got a big one and I got one I'm giving away. What more do I need to add? Okay. So, guys, Monday night <clears throat> at 7.30 Mountain Time. That's 9.30 Eastern, just in time prepping. Okay. Where, hang on it here. Check something here. Where is it? Right there. No, I, I got all the I got all these other good ones here. Pulling it down. Ah, it's not on this book. It's not on this Kindle. It's on the other Kindle. I didn't share it to all of them. It's on my other one. I got on my on my other one, my big one. I have all the uh, Boy Scout manuals. The, all the, the original, I got a, a copy, an electronic copy of the original Boy Scout manual penned by Baden Powell himself. Everybody, congratulations. Miss Kathy is in the house. Yay. Woo! Yep. It's on the other one. Sure, go ahead. Uh, who what? Uh, the bottom dollar outdoors. Oh. Is asking permission to mention last week's pod podcast. Um, so go ahead and fire it up there, and we'll get a uh, uh, yeah, take that in a second. Oh, my. Reach over here real quick here, guys. I must have missed something. That's normal. I'm an old fart. All right. Wait for bottom dollars thing to pop back up here. Are they a pod? Can well, they post? I'm not sure if he can post uh, directly to it. No. Um, if he's like not a pod, he can't. Yeah. Uh, but leave us leave a space you know in the address you know you know so it doesn't recognize it as you know like you know uh little you know space Use dot space dot instead of the actual dot yeah that works so too. like YouTube it would be YouTube instead of your dot put the word dot com or org or whatever it is that way yeah. it doesn't recognize it as a actual web link and people can figure it out from there. Grinch out? Well, that's what happens at the Grinch out. You know, my uncle, the Grinch, there. How do you think I became grumpy? He's the Grinch. Uh, ah, dang it. I hate it when that happens. My newer Kindle doesn't always shut down right. And it runs the battery dead. I don't look at it for uh, a week. Yeah, I got an Asus tablet, the little teeny one that does the same thing. Yeah, at least at least my my older one with it when the uh, the magnet closes on it, it sh it powers off 
where it shuts off so it's not running constantly. China and Russia came up with a new fertilizer. Is that what you're saying? It's called green stuff? That's called Soylent Green, folks. Some okay. people will get the reference. And Mimsy, naps are not unexpected. They are welcome surprises. Okay, so let's see if I can find it here. Uh, no, nope, I don't know what happened to it. Hmm. It's not on this one either. I have to maybe I put maybe I pulled a bunch of them off or something. But I do got I do got one for uh, how to raise alpacas on my Kindle. You got one I, how to raise children too. It's called Dare to Discipline, and I can't remember the author's name, but it's a, it's got PhD, MD, DDD, DDD, yeah, and he says, oh, yeah. an, he has an alphabet soup for a name, yeah, and he says, yeah, Dare Don't to Discipline. Him. Don't trust him, but I agree with the philosophy. Yeah, Charles did something extremely horribly yesterday, in my opinion, and he is grounded for three full days. He doesn't like it one bit, but all right, um. Like Bottom Dollar Outdoors. Was that on your channel? <laughs> James Dobson? I uh, yeah, I don't have I the hard copy is back in California. <laughs> Fishes and Love says yes, that was James Dobson's book. Uh -huh. So what are y'all doing in your downtime? Oh, that thing's heavy. Why don't you pick up a copy of The Doom and Bloom Survival Board Game and play one around today? Did I say that thing's heavy? Uh -huh. It's on Apple Podcasts or any other podcast service. He said he put a link technically up above. I missed the link. Back up here. I looked away. I may not Bye. have come Will. through. I will. Have a good night. See you later. Uh, if you uh, posted the actual, I don't think you actually posted a true link. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. Uh, wrong one. There we go. There we go. New book. Pandemic preparedness. That would be this one. I got one over there. I'm just not getting up. I blew my knee out, so I don't want to walk much. That would be this one right here. Yep, yep, yep. This one. Yep. That is a good read. Uh, or suggested good read. And can I say you need to go get it? Good read? Yep. Maybe? Good. Yeah. Probably. Very good. <laughs> and if you buy it directly off the Doom of Bloom store, you will get an autographed copy. If you buy it off Amazon, it will not be autographed. So they'll buy it off their website instead. Actually, I need to do do my mail call video on this because they sent that to me and some other stuff too. Why would they heat up? <laughs> All right. Oh, good. I'm not going there. All right. Uh, they're using that. Uh, 
uh, the heating up the heating up the water to melt the ice so they could pass it's boats to avoid event. It happens roughly every twelve to thirteen thousand years. Geological history proves it. Yeah. It's not global warming, it's the earth going through its normal cycle. Yeah. Been doing it since it was created. Yep. Okay, so anybody other have any other must have items that they don't have yet? Oh, so the only thing I truly need here is solar. Um, bottom dollar, if you email it to me, I can pull it out of the email. And the email is very simple. Camp Patent Family Compound, all one word, at Gmail. You can if you got a hovercraft, Anthony. If you got a hovercraft, you can drive over water or a wind boat. Or that big Russian uh, monstrosity that has those huge tires, and it looks like it's nothing but tires. A little, no. you know, <laughs> it goes right across the water. The U.S. made something similar to that, and it still sits up at the at one of the poles and is non-functioning. Of course, our people weren't very intelligent. Ah. Propane generator for freezers. Mm -hmm. Evans would like a hot air balloon. Well, according to some people in YouTube, I'm full of hot air, so just go find a balloon. I'll fill it up for you. No, no, no. She's she's got someone a lot closer. She gets the balloon. She uh, the intake. She wraps it around uh, Governor mm -hmm. Newsom's mouth, and she'll go. <laughs> she'll be at the moon before she knows it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. He's been on the hit list for years, Michelle. He's been uh, on the hit list for years. Just saying. Hang on, let me get something here checked. Uh I'm waiting for I was just checking to see if uh he sent it here. Who's on the hit list? Claws. Oh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, yeah. Anthony, sometimes when you see some of those conspiracies, you got to sit down with a bowl of popcorn before you start reading them. It's all entertainment. Yep. Uh, some of it's just ludicrous. I mean, absolute pop, positively poppycock. Yeah. When geological evidence says, this happened this way every so many years. And some Joe Schmo <coughs> says, oh my gosh, quit using your hair dryer. You're going to melt the polar ice caps. Shut up, Gore. <laughs> you and Miss <coughs> need to go find a nice iceberg and chill out. All right. Uh, Okay, All right, see, children. Oh, 11. There we go. So. No. Uh, if Kathy's referring to what I think she's referring to, no. Absolutely, positively, no. All right. There is the link. Hey, I actually almost said it correctly. It's buzzed. And so here we go. And that takes you to here, episode 12. And there's Great, there it is. Oh, Kathy, uh, you have no idea how demented my mind has been in my past lives. My mind can go some very strange places, unfortunately. You know, it, I would have been a very good profiler because <laughs> I can put my brain in places it should not go. All right, send me the correct one. <laughs> because when I worked at the casino, I used to help find the people who were doing very bad things. And how do you find people that do very bad things in places? You have to think like they do. You have to be able to put your mind in a place 
that the average person can't go and recover from? Uh, Dave? Gil? Where did I work? Oh, I know. I know. I know you work. I've been trying to, I've been spending the last year and a half purging stuff from my brain. Okay, and there's the, let's try this uh, one. See, this is the correct, ah, come on. The Hillary and Richard partnership? Hillary and Richard Nixon were working together? Holy cow, did you see that? White family said she believes in HARP, the Hillary and Richard project. <laughs> All right, so. Enter. Okay, here we go. Now, there's the correct one. It goes to this one here. Episode 11, how to control predators on your property. So. <laughs> I know how that goes, having too many tabs open, but I've closed, started operating with a lot less open here right now. Yeah, it's mine starting to buffer in my end. How that goes. Yeah, I need to... Then, uh, why Start do you think can, somebody, that's one yeah. way them to be able to discern between fact and fiction when reading so many different reports on things because you have to be able to put your mind in the places of those that are giving the report as well as the places they are getting the reports from and when you can do that you can start seeing the inconsistencies in some reporting yeah. without actually having to do a lot and i can recover from doing it it's you know it's just a natural thing Hang on, yeah, I gotta go back up here. Look at something here. I just wish I had a porch that I could sit on and do live streams on like some other people in our chat. Holy cow. My phone's <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, by the way, hmm. let me check it out here and run a refresh on this other one here. And then I can tell you some very interesting news. If it makes sure it says what it says here. <sighs> Come on, cycle. Give me the up, give me the update. There it is. Yeah. I'm at 905. I got 95 to go. Golf clap. I got over I got over four thousand and three hundred uh, uh, watch hours. Hey, you're not telling it broke four K. I did too. I'm just like a hundred and some subs behind you. Yeah. Nine new subs. I have a giveaway going. So they want to bypass ports. Means they want to use ships. So, ah. Charles has a whopping nineteen subscribers right now. Poor kid. Okay, just reading everything. <laughs> oh. Actually, we did have a uh, mini ice age. That is fact, not fiction. Yeah. I'm at 812. I need 188. Um, the mini, the mini ice age, which is called the Big Chill, started about 1350 and ended um, in 18, 1850. Yeah, it, that was, during the uh, I think it was uh, 1817. They had a year Colorado. without a summer. Yep. Hey, Colorado. And it's an emergency, folks. Everybody gather around, pitch in, help out, and get Kathy some Pepsi. A-S-A-P. <laughs> I need 95 more to hit the uh, 
thousand subscriber mark. And Dave needs a hundred, no, two hundred and something. I ain't worried about it. Hey, Colorado Fisher. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Jay. That's exactly what they said back then. I remember it very well, too, because they actually talked about it in school. Remember, kids, we're facing a mini ice age here coming soon. Probably by the time you're in your 40s, you'll have to wear parkas all year long up here in Michigan because it's going to be super, super cold, and we're going to have very short growing season. I remember that crap all too well, and I'm sitting there going, boy, you guys are full of it. I'd like to walk up to my old teachers and say, I knew you were wrong back then, and now I can laugh in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Anthony, that's the way I feel a lot of times. Then maybe, Miss Kathy, I shouldn't show you. I actually splurged today and bought me one today. It's gone now, but I bought me a Pepsi today. I splurged. Gil doesn't need watch hours. He broke the 4K. Yeah. I'm at 30. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at 43 something. I'm at 42.11. No, the, they're doing what they're saying now. All the science, because next year when they have the global summit for climate change, the scientists that have been screaming for the last 25 years, ah, we're melting the icebergs are going to come out and say, um, we forgot to add something that made all our projections look like crap. We forgot to add solar forcing to everything. And we now realize it's a cyclical event. So we were wrong. That's coming out next year, by the way. I've seen a lot of scientific papers on this stuff. All right. Don't believe my words. Go to suspicious observers. Because he lists yeah. all the documents and everything in the videos. All right. The, he's an actual scientist. Yeah. Uh, if you if you look, do the little ice age on Wikipedia, um, the uh, some experts prefer the time from 1300 to 1850. Um, NASA observatory's own beginning uh, begins about 1650 to 1850. So one says it's 200 years. The other one says it's uh, 550 years. Um, there's more. I, believe more evidence for the 551 for because of what happened with France and England and England prior to the little ice age was was uh, producing better grapes and therefore better wine than France and France issued an embargo on all English wines yep. watch hours are covered guys uh, it is subs that he needs he needs just under a hundred of them yeah That would be hilarious. I can see the news headlines now. Antifa ran off by polar bears coming down from Alaska. <laughs> news footage at six. <laughs> on a, on a, another note, uh, the, the PETA offices were overrun by polar bears as well. No, that wasn't polar bears. That was penguins. <laughs> And for those who don't aren't don't remember their geography very well, penguins only come from the South Pole. There ain't no penguins in the North Pole. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm at forty three sixty nine watch hours and nine hundred and five. I agree, Palmetto. Some of them are definitely fantastical. <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're great. Um, plots for movies mm -hmm. like The Day After, Zero Hour, uh, Armageddon. Uh, Charles mentioned one earlier today, I can't remember what it was because he wants to watch it when he gets done being yeah. ungrounded. Yeah, the uh, those were the um, Stradivarius violins. The stratosphere of violins were made from trees that were grown during that time, and the rings were so tight that um, is why it has such such amazing sound. 
Okay, hang on a second. I got to close the window here. The temperature has dropped really cold. CJ, they were trying to program your brain to the fact that it's going to happen soon. They just didn't want to tell you outright, so they programmed your brain with commercials telling you this is acceptable. Don't get me started on stupid commercials. I could rant for two hours on dumb commercials. Geico, so good that even a caveman can understand it. There was a commercial back in the early 70s for Jack in the Box. And I can't remember the entire print, the, the time, what the exact, what, what meal and stuff they were, they were doing. But the family pulls into, um, into, uh, the drive through at Jack in a Box gets the stuff and they go back and they and they return to Sunny Side Up uh, Nudist Colony. In one version that made it out on the air, the boy in the back seat stands up and mo and, and winds up mooning everybody because he does not wear anything when he stands up, and it made it on the air. Not for very long, of course, but it didn't. Not make it. not for about it. Yeah. Yep, Jack in the Box. How many people remember the old restaurant Sambo's? The the other thing, but I remember it. It was uh, the. Um, it's a precursor to Denny's. Well, no, but it was um, it was um, the main competitor for International House of Pancakes. Mm -hmm. And I remember the, uh, and actually, I may have that book still from my mom about it and the tiger, getting the tiger to run around the tree till it ran so <laughs> fast it melted and turned into butter. And he put it on mm -hmm. his, uh, yeah. That's typical for our chat. It gets confusing. Mm -hmm. Two people talking about this, eight talking about that, and ten talking about this other thing, and me and Gil up here going, duh, we'll talk about that now. And we're trying to keep track of it. So I'm going to throw this back up here. For those that have come in oh. late, this is the things on the five things that I really want to get. Um, dehydrator. But then a dehydrator falls off if I get the freeze dryer, because then I don't need the dehydrator anymore. I can freeze you know dry what? everything. Personally, I would use both. Both? Because right. some things are better dehydrated than freeze dried. Okay. Just, you know, that's my yeah. personal observation, but, you know, I'm just me. Yeah. And the next thing, a lot, the, the, the next thing on my list is the Bobcat T740. Uh, and then the next thing on the list is the um, attachment. the attachment for the ro rotivator on it. So I can actually rotor till, you know, four of the five acres here and put it all into garden. And then the, uh, the level over here, so I can make sure everything, all the, the, the two and a half acres to the east side of the house, I can get it so it actually flows right so the water will irrigate everything. I don't have to use to water. So that's my five things that I really want to get. I need, I have five things. I need money, 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 and freeze dryer. Not necessarily in that order, but four of the five have to come before the fifth one. <laughs> Ooh, OJ and chocolate. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? You've already got chocolate uh, granola bars, snack bars. What more chocolate do you need, Kathy? Don't tease us. Explain thyself. Ooh, concentrates the sugars differently, and I'm all about the sugars. Gotta have my sugar. <laughs> I 
sugar rush. <laughs> sugar, yeah, sugar rush will either wake you up or put you out. All right. Watermelon. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. All right. So you're allergic to orange juice, but not the actual orange. So you can you can actually eat an orange. It's the citric acid. I'm just looking at her comment here. Mm -hmm. So can you eat a Dehydrated orange or a freeze dried orange? <laughs> trying to catch up here Swiss dark oh, chocolate see, uh, should put me out good. <laughs> uh, something that they put in the orange juice she says uh, oh something they add to the orange juice so if you make orange juice yourself at home you're fine She breaks out in hives. God, that's not good. Mm. No, no, no. Hives are bad. And yeah. If they get too bad, they can cause anaphylactic shock. Break out the epi pen. Ouch. Yeah, maybe it's got too much citric acid in there. Yeah, see, I can eat a regular orange without my stomach throwing fits. But when I drink orange juice, I have to drink um, low pulp, low acid, which is basically a natural orange. Mm -hmm. No, We're my things are not. Mean, Howie. No, my things are not in order of cost. And because the most important, most expensive thing would be the. Uh, um, the bobcat with set attachment. And where did I put that? Because the bobcat itself right now is sixty-eight thousand. <laughs> Shame on you, Jay. The greater attachment, which you see on the left here, is. 14,700. The rotor tiller is 6,200. And that freeze dryer you see right there is approximately 25,000 because that is a commercial unit. Oh, wait, that's not the one. That's that's the harvester, uh, ain't it? That's the, that's the harvester. Okay, right. never mind. My, my mistake. I thought you were showing the front of the one we showed last week that I wanted. No. Nah. That one, the one that you showed that I really would like is 25,000. Yeah. No, no, these are strawberries. So this this is the harvest right. Okay, that's only that's only three thousand. Yeah. Nope, strawberries and glaze. These strawberries. But yeah, if I could manage to squeak out a freeze dryer, my closet would be full of mylar bags, and my cupboards would be empty again for me to restock them. I literally have no cupboard space at all. And I've still got to find places to donate these boxes of dishes that I got. Some of which I may wind up keeping. Like that uh, teapot over there. All right. They got ground cherries growing. And my wife has... Uh huh? Yeah, I saw Howie's there. Okay. Hey, Howie. Mm -hmm. His comment was nice strawberries. <laughs> the uh, and my wife has uh, one type of um, ground uh, cherries going in California. It's 
So, Howie, what five things? Um, he don't need nothing. He already told us that. He's got. He's already got the. Uh, he's already got the island hideaway. Yeah, with a food forest there. He's got a food forest where he's at. He's already got solar stuff. I mean, the guy is set. About the only thing he really could use is some high-powered PPUs with reach out and touch somebody ability. Yeah. So you have uh, oh, wrong. It jumped again. Slow. I just go to click on it. Goes and it just jumped a whole bunch more. Some more yep. new Hanover and something else. And fish just ask, uh, you know, uh, ground cherries are tomato family, right? Question mark. And Jay, this cat, like chance by my mother, did it, did it, did it, did it, Uh, okay, there we go. Got it for a moment. Yeah, starts. for the moment. So that everybody's getting really tight. Everybody's typing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the I made a jam, and some of them taste like honey. Yes, Michelle. They're part of the tomato family. Yeah, which means, which is part of the nightshade family. Be careful. That's part of the shadows family, too. He lives in the night. Uh, All righty. Have we covered everything that okay, we, we had? I'm just trying to think back. Uh, so, um, Anthony wanted a diesel generator, a 50 cal with a silencer, and something else in world peace. Uh, <laughs> Tomatoes are five, part of the five essentials. <laughs> well, if you like spaghetti sauce, sloppy joes, uh, hamburger helper, then yes, uh, tomatoes are part of the five essentials. Oops, almost hit the wrong button. Oh, uh, A-Team Van. There it is. Yeah, the A-Team Van. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> oh, actually, Belladonna family. Ah. There you go. <laughs> Are you saying we're trying to beat a dead horse? <laughs> I didn't say it. Really, I didn't. Are you insinuating? <laughs> Never. Did something like that come out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, how he does one. Maybe, but not my mouth. How he does need something. <laughs> now, do you, you want a some... trident? Do you want the trident class or one of the other ones? I mean, it, we got to make sure it's accessible. Well, if you'd like, Kathy, I can throw it up on Discord to see if you can use it in one of yours. Yes, I'm a fan of the original A-Team, the original Battlestar Galactica. Oh, Mr. Bill. Oh, yes. I Kung remember. Fu. Oh, Mr. Bill. Kung Fu series. <laughs> The uh, Billy Jack movies, and I got them all on 
DVD. Uh, he's lying. I've seen it. They're still on beta tapes. Oh, yeah, and, and, and Hogan's Heroes. Which is still on the original Laserdisc. <laughs> All right, Anthony's changing it up. But the Scooby Doo, the Scooby Doo fan does not have that little box in the back. You open it up, and it's loaded with all those nice freedom snacks. How do you know, there's a box in the back. It's usually full of Scooby snacks. So just take out the Scooby snacks, throw them at the zombies that are chasing you, then fill it with weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he does. Actually, I don't have a VCR here to watch anything. Watch Sorry. anything on. But you know what, guys? You guys keep talking about all these vans, but don't you remember what you used to say to your daughters and your friends' daughters that, you know, if I see a kid pull up in the van with graffiti on the side of it, it ain't happening. Oh. Than that because it's rather. Um, Risque. The new battle Battlestar collect is pretty cool. It took me just about the entire run of it to get hey, used to uh, um, Starbuck being a girl. Yeah, see, I, I can't. Uh, I prefer the originals. I mean, heck, if we're going to go back, let's talk about Buck Rogers. Everybody, everybody remember Twiggy? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, that sucked. I mean, I'll go back to the real Buck Rogers before it was the TV show when it was the other. Hey, I was a kid when that came out and I liked it because it was sci fi. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just missed something here. What? It, it, oh, we have someone that's uh, checking in here. We have West Virginia Prepared Mind. Hey, oh, how's it boy. going? I said hi. I uh, missed it. I was dealing with the other stuff. From the oh, that's what Anthony really wants. <laughs> you are yeah, correct. Jay. He did make a, a, a pretty good Adama. How he made a good point too. Right above it. Well, not everyone nice, so I, I wear. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what? Just because it's not believable doesn't mean it's not entertaining. I know the Stargate series is poppycock. But it was still kind of interesting. Yeah. And there were some episodes that left you hanging on the end of your seat till next week. That's why I waited for many years before they came out so I could watch binge watch them all at once. Uh. <clears throat> so as we're not starting to sing West Virginia again. We're good with that, right? We're not going to yeah. start singing. What's no. in my mind? Okay. Even though it was sung pretty good in the movie, um, The Kingsman Golden Circle. Mm. Julie, you still ain't old enough, girl. I had beta tapes. I have even had beta max, which were better than VCR tapes, but it just never caught on. Sony and their, we're going to try and run up everybody. So, all right, Anthony, have a good night. Be safe. God bless. Yep. Take it easy, Anthony. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anybody else have anything else they want to throw out there as of their top of the five things they are a must have items they must have? Kim, no, I don't sing. I am not going to have PETA show up on the door with the FBI and arrest me for. Damaging dog's ears. Not happening.
No, I don't live on the East Coast. I'm in Midwest. In a communistic wannabe state. Our rhino, Republican governor, is a Democrat in disguise, trying to turn us into California. He's trying really hard. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I pulled that one down. I thought I still had it here. Dang it. Oh, Green Hornet, yes. Me TV. Unfortunately, I was kind enough to share my antenna wire with the neighbor for my outside antenna, and now I don't get no channels. You can remove us for a moment so they can see the helicarrier. Okay. And... And he's back, and now I'm back. Yay! I thought I had the good one there. It had just uh, Nick looking out the front of it. That must be in one of my other things. You may have deleted that one to make room for others. Yeah. Of course, and there is another little... Uh... Oh, don't get me started, Kathy. Cool one. Because, and if that be the case, Kathy, you'd be in the northern tier of states. Because your state's kind of poking the bottom of Canada. Oh, that didn't sound right. Oh, that did not sound right. Forget I said that. <laughs> well, when the Midwest states were first called the Midwest, they didn't realize how far west the country went. <laughs> No, we do not. Otherwise, it would have been. Otherwise, it would have been the Mid East states. Yeah, no, he's only using Streamlabs. He is not using OBS. Yes, a helicarrier can be one of the five things. Actually, let me pull this other thing up here. Go there, back to here. Well, if we're going to start talking absurd things, I say that loosely, of course. I want the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it doesn't have the transporters like the Enterprise or anything like that, but it can do, you know, the castle run in a little bit of no time. Yeah. I can take uh, there, there's the good shot of the uh, of the helicarrier, but the uh, now that that's something. Ooh, ooh, I wonder if I can find that picture again. I gotta try and find a picture. Oh, I can't find it. There's a nice little retreat for you. Underground bunkers. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to drop that off and that one off. Of course. I find a picture the other day and go, wow, that's pretty cool. And now I can't find the same picture. Oh. Of course, um, at the time. Did I put that on there? No, I don't. Didn't put that on there. Oh, well, heck. Shoot. I screwed right. up something. I screwed something up. Let me go back and put something on there. That's close. Okay, I'm going to share something real quick. And one second, try and get this to work right. Hey, share yours. All right, here we go. The one with the trailer. That's a Unimog with the trailer. It's not the one I was looking for, but it's close. Yeah. 
That's a go anywhere, do anything Overland Express vehicle. And there are actually options to where you can get the trailer to be powered as well off a PTO system. So the trailer will help drive. Cool. Yep. Well, I have only one thing to say about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the one I sent you. Unfortunately, I can't. I got to keep clicking the button. You just want autoplay. Yeah, I think they've taken autoplay off a lot of videos because I used to be able to put autoplay or repeat play, I mean. Um, yeah. And now on my tablets, I can't do that. It's not even an option on my Apple. Yeah. I can drive a stick. I drove one for a good many years. If you want a driving experience, go find an old triple sh thick shift truck with a uh a, a, a five speed uh transmission three speed brownie and a two speed or a three speed transfer case mm -hmm. that's fun because it literally takes two hands to shift the vehicle into gears so you better figure out how to drive with no hands <laughs> done it it's an expression for sure I used some very colorful language while driving it, none of which are family friendly. And when I got done driving, I jumped out of it, jumped back in a little uh, Chevette I had and said, thank God I can drive this thing. <laughs> you know, it felt like my butt was dragging sparks in the ground the entire way home. But hey, when you go from sitting yeah. five and a half feet in the air to sitting six inches off the ground, it's a big difference. Yeah. The a friend of mine, Gary Desch, had a chain drive peterbilt truck serial number zero 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 one three they did not start at zero 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 one they started at zero 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 one zero so it was the fourth truck built by peterbilt it had a four speed transmission a three speed brownie no i thought i Four-speed transmission, four-speed brownie, and a three-speed transfer case. Yeah, Ohio really bad right now. I can't even go renew my license. The closest BMV to me is an hour drive. There's one in Cincinnati, and it's an hour from my house. I can't go renew my license. You know what they're going to do? So when I finally do get a chance, they open it back up. Oh, so seeing as how you didn't renew it in time, we're charging you an extra dollar, so you're in, out of luck. <clears throat> All right. Let me check that other thing here real quick. See what I got here. <sighs> trying to find something here for you guys. StreamYard. It is StreamYard, Kim. StreamYards, not Streamlabs. And while you flip that out, I'm going to go flip me a cup of coffee. Okay, I asked the question, then accidentally muted. The... Yeah. yeah. This is uh, StreamYard, the paid version. Loading. Let's see. And see if I can find this. Yes, there it is. This. Is the one I was trying to tell Dave about. So I can bring it up here. Unfortunately, Anthony left. This is what Anthony really wants to have is uh, one of these bad boys here. Extreme off-road Russian amphibious uh, Sherp vehicle. And what's so cool about it, I'm hoping, you see it driving over concrete blocks. It's got super soft tires that float and it just goes over things. And trying to see if this is going to start. It's not going to start just yet. 
But yeah, it goes out there through the Arctic ice. Oh, there it goes. I hear it going. Uh, I hear it, but it's not giving me any. There we go. And it's freezing. <laughs> There's your uh, real all-terrain vehicle. Yes, it's made in Russia, not China. Ooh, a Sherpa. That's what Anthony would, would probably really want to have. Oh, that'd be great. Those things are phenomenal. <laughs> Able to drive over a tank with no problem. Uh. <laughs> Very stable. Now, see, for me to get to Michigan, that would be an ideal option. I can't pack everything into it, but they do make trailers to go with them. Yes, they do. So between that and a trailer... I could literally get all the way up to Michigan, no matter how many rivers I had to cross. And there's actually a couple. Yeah. I know ways around them. I know where the bridges are that are safe. But, ooh, right there. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I heard a beep. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit more uh, different uh, looking one there, but yeah. And those who want to go old school, there's your old duck. Yep. Hey, Kathy, are you still in here in um, the channel? Wait. Yeah, there are some interesting. Uh... And here's another one from Russia. Very similar. Yeah. It's got a little bit more power than our Sherpas do. Yep. Because the tires are actually smaller. Yeah. No problem. I was just going to say, yeah, that's something Gil and I mentioned back in um, February. That they're just now starting to release two months later. Yeah. So it just kind of goes to show that Gil and I kind of knew what we were talking about back when this first came out. But hey, you know. It is what it is. We're a bunch of nobodies that know nothing. Yeah. And don't help anybody either, so. That's okay. I got broad shoulders. See, they're kind of wide. I can handle it. Uh, Ooh, the 8 by 8 Yeah. That's uh, the big brother of the Amphicat. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, oh. I want the, tra the track versions are pretty cool too. They're actually a little bit faster on land. Don't do water very well, but yeah. Um, for the Sherpa, the trailer does float. Yes, it floats just like the main tractor part. Yeah, the um, where is the? Uh... I can go back here and find it. Right. Ouch. Right there. It's, uh, it's, uh, with R A I L. Sherp. Uh, uh, yeah. Right there. Yep. And you can get the uh, those also have PTO options, yeah. You can get the uh, single wheel one, the That's not three, driven. the three wheeled one. Yep. I do believe that one is PTO driven, or the big that one is definitely PTO driven, yeah. And here it is. All right, Kathy, have a good night going through the water. 
Uh, if you look at the way the back tires are splashing on the trailer, you can tell that they're actually driving it. Yeah. Do they have? Look and see. There was a uh, link to a YouTube channel version. But yeah. Yeah, they're all over. They're fun. <clears throat> But I, before I want get one of those, that's that that's number nine on my list. Oh, right there. Hold on. Oh, you moved. Because there was one there that actually showed the uh, layout of one of them. Left side, third one down. Yeah. That's an RC or a toy version, but that's actually how the trailers are laid out in it. There is a lot of room there. That's a med version. Yep. And the actual real life one is laid out the exact same. And then there's the troop transport version. I ain't got to worry about I don't need no dang troop transport. It's just me and Charles. We're riding up front. <laughs> Anybody between here and Michigan? Well, grab onto the rails if you want. Hope you got a swimming suit because I'm going through the rivers. <laughs> uh, or just climb up on top. You should be safe. They don't sink. Unless I don't drive it very well, then that could be an issue. Special trailer for it. Gee, that one's not got any, any um, sponsorship, does it? <laughs> no, not a bit. <laughs> the cost of one of those with the, the trailer costs more than the actual driving the main unit. Yeah. So you need sponsors. <laughs> Here's the little trailer. Yeah. Well, I said that's number nine on my list. My wish list is longer than the earth is around. My need list has only one item. <clears throat> Yeah, I really want a, a function, func functioning uh, flux capacitor. Go back to 1979. Actually, go back to 1975 when I graduated from high school. Get the proper job. Then in 1979, invest all the money into Microsoft. <laughs> no. Split it between Microsoft and come back in the future a little bit from there and hit Amazon. Well, no, I, 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 all in my, all in Microsoft at first. Then when the time comes, purchase heavy in, you know, uh, into uh, into Amazon and Google. When that went, and then come back into the future to the year nine or twenty seventeen, and dump it all. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just going to cash my, I'm going to go liquid here and then come no, back. And, and then, no, 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 no dump, dump it all in, i trying to remember the year here, um, 2006. Just before the dot com crash? No, 2006 and dump it all, dump it all into um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin was dirt cheap in 2006. Yeah, but in the last year and a half, it's crashed again. So, yeah, you know, but the thing is, you know, and then, but uh, a friend I was working with bought $5,000 worth in 2006, and it was ridiculously cheap. In 2014, he sold it all and made you know some you know multi-million dollars on it and disappeared you'll see you guys later bye all i know is he's somewhere in montana We have a local well that takes you in the water with one. Oh, cool. Duck boats. <laughs> They're talking about a duck boat. Ducks, yeah. Cracker boats.
Trying to yeah, where we're actually at. I guess I guess there is a second item I really need. Transportation. Walking home from Walmart tonight, I blew out my left knee. Oh. Yeah. Me's a limpa. Me's a limping all around the house. And I ain't sure where or how I did it. It just hurts the holy heck right at the moment. So I won't be making no more trips to Walmart for a few more days. But of course, they were pretty much out of meat. I did manage to grab four pounds of hamburger. Unfortunately, it was the high-priced hamburger. I like the cheap stuff. I can buy more of it. Uh, those are some of the, uh, the small versions. Yeah, those are the small versions. Is that the old military ones? I can't see. Yeah. That. Yeah. I wouldn't mind one of those. The bigger one was, you know, you know the ones that you see like 15 people or so in there. And then there's the Russian version. Again, they go big, whole hog. <laughs> well, guys. Ugh. Yeah, you would have to get find buyers for Bitcoin if you wanted to get real money out of it. Yeah. Right now that the prices of it is actually coming back up, there are people that are probably buying it. Yeah. That would be a nice one, too. Heck, you don't have to put a truck on it. You can build a house on that sucker. Yep. That was my thought. Mobile Infantry Brigade. I mean, it gives a, it gives a whole new meaning to houseboat. You're out there in the water. Oh, you, we're going to yell. You got harbor patrols coming to tow your uh, boat out of the way. Uh, meh, nope. Drive up on land. Sorry. <laughs> Hovercrafty makes too much noise. That one's almost overloaded. Now there is, and if I'm not mistaken, it's in Minnesota. Um, there is a military, or is an auction place up there that sells military vehicles. And Demolition Rants went up to one of the auctions. He was invited up there. Mm. And they actually had one of those in that picture up there for auction. I don't remember what he said it went for, but it was like a year, year and a half ago. For all things stupid with pew pews, go watch Demolition Ranch. <laughs> and this week, no, this, this week they shot up a prison toilet. <laughs> like I said, for all things stupid with pew pews, go watch Demo Ranch. And for things really stupid with pew pews, go to his he from he talks about his other channel, which is not on YouTube. It's go on. on uh, uh, it's on. Yeah. I'm not sure where it's at, but yeah. Yeah, he, he had to split some of his up. Yeah. Guess it would, Jay. Yep. Problem is it lets where you or your friendly enemies know where you're at. Oh yeah, Z zebras are yeah. They they have do not have hundreds and hundreds of years of domestication. Now you want a nice tame horse, the tamest horse around, believe it or not, is a Clydesdale. Because mm -hmm. they look down on like you like you puny human. Do you really think I got the time to do with you? Um, but uh, the prison toilet did not, was not, it's not, um, porcelain. It's, it's stainless steel. Mm -hmm. They didn't blow it up. They just shot it. Of course, I ain't watched the video yet because I've been busy. Yeah. Again, trying to do things for Charles's new channel. 
speaking of which, let me throw this back up here. Where is it here? Do I have to break out my announcer voice? No, I'm just waiting for this thing to the YouTube searcher thing to work. C H A R L yeah, Charles. It should show up in uh, 64th scale fun. It should actually show up in searches now. Scale S C A L E. Fun. There it is. Come on. Oh, it doesn't show his updated picture yet. It does in the chat, though. Yeah. He's got uh, a couple of bedtime stories. I'm leaving those up just for kicks and giggles, but... <clears throat> That is Charles's channel. Uh, we're going to be doing Hot Wheels racing on tracks, invidiating it, it for all kicks and giggles, fun for friends, family, and old and young alike. And I'll have to keep the cat out of there so she doesn't try chasing him up and down the track. I need to check something here. Fresh. Oh, it gets down to 34 tonight. Ooh. Clearer than frost areas. Frost advisory before 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We got it all week. Uh, Thank but, you, Michael. But then Monday night, we have thunderstorms. And Tuesday night, we have thunderstorms. And Wednesday night, we have thunderstorms. And Thursday, we have Thursday and Thursday night we have thunderstorms and Friday we have thunderstorms. Hey, at least it ain't snow. Well, you never can tell. It may get down just cold enough to put a little bit of snow down that'll last about 35 seconds. We're at 36 here right now and it's supposed to drop even lower. We will have frost tonight. Yep. Compliments of the fact that the earth is on a tilt. All righty. Yep, I love a Clydesdale. They're great draft horses. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which movie it was. It was one of those ones back with around the time the Beastmaster was out, but it was... Uh, core or something like that. Yeah, you know, they're right. They put all sorts of funny stuff up on the uh, on the uh, Clydesdales. They put extra like um, uh, hair around on the uh, from the knees down on them. They were writing them around. I don't remember that off the top of my head. I remember the Beastmaster. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, hey guys, we're coming up on two and a half hours. Ding, ding. <clears throat> and so we're going to go ahead and. Uh, a it's a dead horse. We're going to go ahead and call it a night. Good night, y'all. Have a good night. See you next time. Be safe. God bless. Mm -hmm. And stay prepared. <laughs>